Composing the music for this Bollywood inspired number was such an incredible experience. I grew up on Bollywood, Broadway, pop, Indian classical and Western classical music. So to be able to bridge these worlds together and create something for television was such a privilege. People were wondering whether the music came first or the lyrics came first. And in this instance, the lyrics came first. Grania, Godfrey, and Jackie Canino were the writers uh, for this song and for the episode. We here at Legends are big fans of Jane Austen, um, and we knew for a while that we wanted to get a Jane Austen episode in this season. And we were thinking about what themes we could work with with Jane Austen, and a big one of that era is repression, um, and this idea of people needing to kind of sublimate their passions. And so we were trying to think about what could be totally different and totally the opposite of that. And people were pitching in the room and somebody threw out Bollywood musical that's just like so big and it's all about passion and feelings and love. And that would just be such a fun thing to see contrasted with Jane Austen. So I sat down with uh, Grania and she and I were writing the episode together and we started thinking about what type of song we wanted to put in there. And again, we were back to that Jane Austen repression. Well, that's all about not giving in to your passion. So let's have this song be about surrendering to your passion. And that was the beginning of doing a Bollywood musical number called I Surrender. working with Blake Neely and Daniel James Chan who both composed the score for Legends of Tomorrow for a couple of years now and this is my third season working on the show in varying capacities. So this season had a lot of songs, a lot of original material and they continued that theme and expanded on it into a large-scale Bollywood number so the music supervisor who I'd been working with season she said they're gonna do a Bollywood number do you know someone who, who, can, who can do this with us? And I, having worked with Rashi here at the studio, I immediately thought that would be a great fit. You know, let's, let's do it. We brought her in to meet with the writers and, and Phil, the producer, and um, she sent over sample music to give them a sense of, of what her musical voice is, and then we went from there. When I got the script, the first thing I did was go to the piano. When I was sitting at the piano, I just started improvising, jamming out, trying to come up with a melody. And the melody that you hear is the first thing that kind of came to my mind. There were a few things that were important for me to include uh, while composing this song. Blake and Daniel have both created this specific soundscape for the show, for the world that these characters live in. So it was necessary for me to include some of those sounds in the mix and in the song so that there would be a cohesion. Aside from the fact that it's a Bollywood number, um, it was just important for me to make sure that there is some cohesion in the soundscape. Another thing that was important for me was to strike a balance between the musical genres. The chorus is very Broadway-esque and poppy, and the musical interludes are very Bollywood and incorporate riffs, whether it's in the harmonium, if I did like... or if it was the violin or sitar adding an ornament. Um, that was very important for me to just make sure that there was an ebb and flow. And the last thing and most important thing was to make sure that this song is helping to tell the story, uh, that there is an arc to the song, uh, the story progresses forward. So you hear a lot of key changes and modulations within the music 
but there is a definite progression and arc that I wanted to make sure that the song had. When we got on the phone with the producers and the writers and the director, the director told me, okay, I need 20 seconds of music from this section to this section. And that's when they start singing again. Because in those 20 seconds, the actors had to say their lines and say the dialogue. So I had to translate that to how many measures of music is that going to be? How am I going to make that a musical phrase? And how is that going to progress musically to the next section? So that happened a few times in the song. It was kind of like a fun math puzzle to solve. After the initial mix was approved, the actors had to sing on the track. So we set up sessions uh, via Skype to record all of the actors so that they could lip sync to their own voices uh, the following week uh, for the shoot. I was fortunate enough to be able to be up there and be on set when we were actually shooting the musical number. And we came in and all the actors were just rehearsing their lyrics and rehearsing the song. Um, and the choreographers were there and teaching them how to do the dance number. Set decorators came in and it really was magical to just see it go from kind of all of these like disparate elements to coming together and being on film and having everybody just be dancing and just be so into it and even the crew was getting really into it. Like I, I remember at a certain point there was a take where the first AD had to come around and tell crew members that they had to stop singing along because it was being picked up on the boom mics that were supposed to be there for the actors. Um, so and that was still the demo track before we had any of the live instruments or anything like that, just the demo was so catchy and so exciting to people that it just felt like this amazing effort by the entire crew and cast just coming together to make this happen. Um, and it was really amazing to witness. We had a little bit of time before the episode was mixing and before it would air. So during that time, I went back and I finessed the mix and I orchestrated it for our live musicians. One of the great things about this show in particular is that they love and respect music so much. And so knowing that they're doing a giant Bollywood number, they knew they needed to put um, finances and, and funds into the resources, into the musicians. So we were able to go to Capitol Records, record with a pretty good sized group, one of the largest we've had on the show. Um, and that's just a testament to, to the producers and their their genuine interest in doing this right and making this sound phenomenal. We are very fortunate to have producers who want to invest in live musicians. We had LA's finest musicians playing on this track. We had a string orchestra as well as two woodwind players. And aside from the orchestra, we had four featured soloists on the track. We had a Western classically trained violinist, Camille Miller. We had an Indian classically trained violinist, Raginder Singh Mami. We had a fantastic sitar player, Rajiv Karmakar, and a wonderful double up player, Robin Sukadia. We recorded our soloists at Kalamalal Studios in North Hollywood. One of the most exciting things as a composer is to have your music played by live musicians and I feel very fortunate to have had so many musicians on this track. And one of the most important aspects of this process is the final mix of the music. Greg Hayes was our engineer for both of our scoring sessions and he mixed the track. He took all of the live components and really brought the final mix to life. We went over to his studio, spent time with him, and really finessed all the elements and got just a great quality result. I want to give a shout out to the actors who sang on this track. Tala, Sachin, Brandon, Courtney, Katie, Maisie, and Ramona. They came in, they sang their hearts out, and they sounded great. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to Tala. She's so wonderful to work with. And you'll hear and see how wonderful they all are when you watch the episode. There are so many people involved in making a project like this come to fruition. 
when people say it takes a village, it really does take a village. I think the common denominator between all of us is our love of storytelling and our passion for what we do. I hope that we can continue doing this for many, many more years to come. You can catch Legends of Tomorrow on The CW, Mondays at 8, 7 central. And you can catch the latest episode on the CW app or CWTV.com.